Hello and welcome back to Battletech Advanced 3062. We're against just one drunk. Yes, some legendary drunk mech warrior. Always hate to fight fellow mercs, but it's the job. Just the business, you understand. Tartan, apparently. Uh, yeah, we're going for the heat um, strategy here, although there is rain and there's water, which means heat sinking. We've got to keep this guy out of the water. Bloody hell, that's not going to be easy. I guess we'll come up here. Okay, okay, right. Now, it's probably going to be a heavy mech. We're going to be outgunned. But like I said, the idea is to hopefully cause an ammo explosion of some sorts, and uh, that's how we'll win. Unless, of course, it's an all laser build. 80 tons! Reporting! I don't know what you I'm reserving for. We're going to go before him, so let's come in nice and close and we can possibly jump jet back. So I want to go as far forward as possible. Roger. Full speed. A victor with the Gauss. Let Laos the Gauss. Or something like that. Target if one of these can hit, I'll be happy because it'll be a nice start. Inferno gel plus three heat. I don't think either of them hit. Not yes, ideal. Commander. Uh, I don't think a death from above is a particularly good strategy. Do we instead maybe want to go reserve and just keep Reporting. the two turns in a row for whenever we've done a, yes, you know, a half decent Watch job that. ourselves? By. Right, I'm assuming you're an ace pilot. Right, you hit that building behind mostly. Yeah, glad we went for evasion. My armor is peeling away. A duelist. You are specifically a duelist. Attention, duelists. Order. Right, we don't want to get too close to you. I know that much. Two evasion. Heat-wise, you're looking okay. We don't really want to get close. This might be... I don't like these hit numbers. But we can move again. Possibly get over there. We can also jetpack as well. We don't have the best jetpack, though. Let's do this, then. Yes, Commander. Firing! Okay. All right. I'm okay. developing some heat now. Let's do that again. Hit him where it hurts. Mm, don't like the, I do not like these percentages at all. They're not great. They get a lot better when we get closer. The problem is he then might come in and melee us. That's the last thing we want. Uh, but we've got to take. We've got to go for the strategy. We've got to trust the system. Right, so we're going to go precise strike. All right, you're overheating, and that's problematic for you. Oh crap! Is he going down from above? Jeez, that is brave. Damage is light. Brave or stupid? I'm not sure which. Yes, commander. We still do stability damage, and he's not looking great. We're not looking great either. We kind of need to. We need a turn to cool off, Moving out. as in lower our stability damage. All right, uh, so we're coming for some rear armor shots here. And he's cooling off quite significantly because of the bloody water. At least pretty much everything hit. Ammo explosion, there it is. That's what we were going for. That's exactly what we were going for. <laughs> I can't believe it worked just like that. As I've heard the pilot say in the back, talk shit, get hit. Oh yeah. That's it. Fuck about, find out. Mission successful. Damn! We just decimated that thing. So there you go. Now if that had not had any... Uh, any ammo in it, say it was a strictly laser build, like it was a, a hunchback type, or a, maybe a Black Knight actually. That it, I guess it could have been a Black Knight really. That's like in the 75 ton range. Uh, we could have been in trouble. Like we actually might not have been able to win that at all. I uh, would have had to hope for, I guess, doing damage on, on back shots, but we definitely need to uh, make some tweaks, I think, to the trebuchet. And that's pretty much going to be the theme of today's video. There's not really going to be a lot of combat in this one. Um, we get to choose... I, got, I went for one salvage, so one and we get a couple of bits. No mass unit. That's worth a lot, isn't it? Could get parts of a victor. Case e-calling to... I'm going to take this big fat core. Part of a victor. And a Gauss rifle! I don't even spot that. No ammo for it, but uh... Hey, you know, I'll take a, I'll take the Gauss rifle. Nice. A few bits there. Hmm. But really, it's nice to get that cool half a mil. It just 
it just takes us from A to B and hopefully pays for some of our uh, uh, some of our tweaks that we're going to be doing to our mechs. So because we are uh, we're doing quite a lot to the roster today is the plan. That is what we are. Yeah, we're looking to make quite a few changes to pretty much half the mechs. All right, so let's have a little look at the mech bay. All right, what are we doing? So. We have got our hunchback, which is wonderful. Really liking. I'm actually like really happy we got this. Uh, it's this is probably better to have early game than the AC20 variant because nobody hits early on. I mean, our pilots already getting some aim, but you know, it's just you, you can guarantee some of these are going to hit pretty much. So that is nice. Sometimes early game, I find volume is good. It's why I'm always quite a. I used to be quite a, and I still am. A fan of SRMs in the early game because while nobody's hitting you kind of just have to go volume and then a few things should hit every time. Okay we are going to say goodbye to the Locust 3M. It has been absolutely terrific but it's time to move its components over to the Owens. So we are going to send it to storage. We should get the AMS and the ammo as well for it. I might want to say first actually give me one moment. Yeah just just best create a save actually. In case I do something, I need to take components off manually for some reason. You, you kind of never know, really. Uh, right, so everybody say goodbye to Locust. It's, no, we're not selling it. We'll, we'll keep it there in storage just in case. Uh, do we even want the wasp? Not really. It's kind of just there as a backup scout type thing, I reckon. It's just got marginally more armor. No, oh, it doesn't even have that, to be honest. I don't know. It's because we paid a mill. It's called sunk cost fallacy, all right? I, I realize that. Anyway, the Owens. So, this I want to be my long-term scout, essentially. Um, and how are we going to do that? Well, we have got, we're keeping the streak SRM2s. It does make sense to hold on to the machine guns, but I think something has to go. I also wanted to do a little bit of laser damage just to sort of make it match the locust, really. Um, I want this to be an upgrade in every sense. So let's have a little look at what we've got here internally. I want to add probably some ferret. We've got four lots of ferret five, actually. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and throw this in here. That's, that's only half a ton, but it's something, right? We're going to lose, because this is two tons if we get rid of all this. That's two and a half tons we've got right there. So if we have a little look, we've got more equipment. Um, I can't believe this thing's got an XL engine. That's kind of insane. Uh, let's go to equipment. We want to add in the... Uh, where is it? The turret drop. There it is. I was about to say, did this not move over? No, it did. I love the fact that this has the C3 slave as well. It's just, this mech is going to be extremely useful throughout the game. Like, it's only going to get better in a way. Um, once we have the C3 master. Yeah, really good. Uh, okay. That's looking nice. We have... What else do I want to add? I'm just drawing blanks now. We have one and a half tons. Is it armor, pretty much? Oh, the AMS. Of course. <laughs> Let's go weapons. Uh, there it is. Yes, we have it here. Well, do we want to spread these out? No, it has to be um, in a slot, so... Let's put it in the center torso, I guess. And the ammo for it. Probably in one of the legs, right? And that's it. It's It's got everything that the Locust has, but more armor has a small pulse is that something we want or do we want to maybe go do you want to go extended range small laser small pulse has what range 120 meters we've got a few of these 15 damage gives us an extra half a ton which just means we can sort of really bulk up everything i want this to be full the in fact the torso pretty much full Oh, okay. That's kind of what we've got. 75 on the legs. 20, 20. I don't like the rear armor, but you know what? That's fine. This is kind of all the same. No matter what, if we lose any one of these parts, it, the whole mech goes down. Uh, but this gives it how much armor in total? 625. The Locust, I think it was about... Was it 400? 420? It might have been 420. Something around that. So a couple of hundred more armor. Spread out, of course. Uh, but all in all... Yeah, it just, and it has a little little bit more structure as well, so it's got that going for it too. Um, we can get in with some nice crits once um, armor's been opened up. 
it can possibly trigger some ammo explosions or just, you know, well, just crits, right? That's it. Uh, ammo explosion in the leg. Do we want to... Yeah, no, we'll leave that as it is. I think that's okay. And this is only one day. 20,000. Got to keep an eye on the costs because we are going to be traveling as well. So I guess we're going to validate this. Yeah. Okay, not bad. I think this will serve us nicely, and I would definitely rather it has the art. It, uh, it has the armor. It's not here for damage necessarily. Okay. Next thing we're going to look at is the crab. We are going to do some interesting things with this. I just realized we might as well add Pharaoh to everything. We've got so much of it. Um, by the way, the difference, yes, is the slots. There is a difference between the sanctuary Pharaoh, fibrous, Pharaoh fibrous, fibrous, I think. 10 slots this only takes up, this takes up 14. We have so much space here in the crab, we're going to go ahead and add the 14 one. Um, that gives us an extra ton, you see. Lose the large laser, look at that, so we can give it even more armor. We're going to keep the strafe and run. Uh, let's go ahead, first of all, let's look at weapons, I think. So, I was thinking actually of giving this a medium pulse. It weighs an extra ton, but it just packs that extra punch to negate the loss of the large laser. So I think I'm going to do that. It's We've got the heat sinking, we've got the heat efficiency. We are still way over, uh, but we do want to, we want to lose the jump jet as well. Let's go ahead and add a support. Ah, uh, this is where I was going to add. Definitely adding an extended range small laser here. That looks good. We've got a small laser up there. Could go for small pulse. I might do that actually. It's just even more. Mm, heat sinking's coming down slightly. I want it to be able to like do that every turn. I might just keep this as a standard small laser for now. We can change this though. Now something interesting I was thinking of doing was upgrading the core. So if we change the core this affects the movement of the mech. Um, basically, it's a core 250, so it doesn't technically need any heat sinks, but we want that because this does have quite a, you know, it's a laser orientated build. I'm thinking, yeah, of improving it. So, so if it's a 250, we want to give it a, a oh, wow, well, I go straight up to 280. That's quite an increase. But basically, have a look at this uh, in terms of movement. It moves 140 meters or five hexes. And its sprint speed is 210 meters at 8 hexes. The cores, they weigh quite a lot more. So if we go ahead and slap this in here, that weighs an extra like 2.5 tons. Was that 3.5 tons, I think, actually? Um, is this okay? Additional engine heat sinks. Uh, so the engine needs a heat sink. Is that right? Ah, we might not be able to do that then. Do we have an engine heat sink? I'm sure we do. We have e-cooling, right? Do we not have any e-cooling? I thought we did. No. I guess it's I've seen it as loot and never picked it, right? Hmm. So technically we can't actually use this. I'm a bit worried. I don't know if we absolutely do. If a mech engine rating is at or above 275, additional heat sinks can be directly installed within the engine without using up critical. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. It's optional. You can add it so you save space on the internals here. Um, I think that is that's what that means. Whereas this is necessary. You you need to hit this 10. You must have at least 10 heat sinks on the engine. Uh, so this ups our mobility to six hexes and nine in sprint. And I think that's quite key for getting into position for the strafing run. You know, you stack that over two turns, that's an extra couple of tiles, a couple of hexes, so I think that's worth it. And it frees up just a little bit more tonnage for armor, so let's go ahead and bulk that out. Let's balance it as well, so it's, you know, this has to be max, that's for sure. A uh, bit more on the legs. A bit more on the rear. I quite like the rear armor's already looking quite good, actually. Uh, are we going full armor? Pretty much, looks like we might be. Might as well go sort of... This thing's going to get in pretty close to everything, and we'll, I guess we'll up the center torso. There it is. Hmm. We could actually make this a better laser instead, but I quite like the fact that its durability is is sturdy. Nine, yeah. Still a bit less than the trebuchet, I think, but it's, uh, it's nice. 
all in all I quite like this and I like that it's got a little bit on the rear here it could take a couple of lasers that is six days worth almost a hundred thousand presumably the core is what's really doing it so maybe this is not the most optimal thing this might get a bit of backlash but I want to experiment with it look at this the game's got all these features so I want to I want to test them out and see what we can do that is that's why I'm here and that's why you, I'd like to think you're kind of watching as well is to see what things you can do in Battletech Advanced that you can't do in the regular game. And yeah, messing around with the engines is one of them. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's it. Let's go ahead and validate that. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. That's 100,000. Gone. Okay. Trebuchet. We're all in agreement it's running a little bit hot. We should also focus the build so that it's... Um, deals more heat damage because if that's its thing it might as well go all out on it so we may as well lose the medium chem lasers it's it wasn't a bad strategy i don't think it was too bad but i don't think it's the most optimal thing uh, so it was nice that it did pretty good damage we need to put an srm4 not here there's no room for it there here that gives us room for a heat sink right because the heat efficiency is not perfect do we have room for this we do Hey, there we go. Heat efficiency improves marginally. So it's calm, not quite a full alpha strike of heat sinking, but it's better than it was, and we deal more heat damage. So 10 SRM 6s with the ammo of SRM and the two plasma rifles that deal, still deal a, a nice 50 damage each. They both hit, there's 100 armor gone. I think this is really good. Uh, we've got lots of armor. Durability's what? 985. Oh, okay, so that's about the same as the crap then now. That's excellent. And that's only three days for 3,000. I'll let you know when that's done. A oh, good, good. This is pretty much taking up most of our travel time, I think. And as for the Hunchy, Hunchy Munchy, we've not used you yet. Uh, we are going to add some equipment. We're going to add... You've got lots of space, so we're going to add the basic pharaoh here. And I'm thinking of just doing a ton of armor. I'd also quite like to up your core. Because your mo movement is... 4 and 7. I mean, that isn't great, is it? Y it might be worth giving this an XL engine. Oof. Uh, indeed. If we go XL engine, we can then go for a better core. But then, of course, if a, one of the sides falls off... Uh, also, it costs a lot. This is a... Let's put a pin in it. I still think I'm going to do that at some point. Also, how much space does it take up? Like, a lot here. We have nothing left. <laughs> we may end up using this Sanctuary Pharaoh. Just because of the sheer amount of heat sinking we're giving this thing. Out of interest, if we did do that, and we went for a better core, just as a concept, uh, what, well, I guess we'll just look at the next one up, right? Okay, what about the one after that? Huh. Five hexes, eight. Five and seven. So really, that sprint speed is kind of what we want, isn't it? Get in there quicker, so the 240 is probably better. That gives us an extra ton and a half for armor. If you're going to be in close, you're going to need more rear armor. That's not too bad, is it? Uh, and we're going to wait. We're going to need to focus on the torso. Yeah, this would work. Do you know what? I'm not doing it this time because I want it available. We're already making big changes to the crab. Uh, can we do this? Let's just do 105 each, and. That's, like, it, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of near perfect. Might as well do, do it like this so your legs are okay. I think I'll do something like that. Yeah. That could work. Obviously, the risk of putting the XL engine is in is if we lose one of the torsos, the whole mech goes down. The whole mech is gone. Um, Adding in the extra core just means we can sprint in a bit quicker. What is the difference again? Uh, obviously, we can't because of that. Uh, oh wait, sorry. A 200 core. 
four and seven. Yeah, that's quite slow. But uh, I do think it might be worth doing that. XL Engines, as uh, Raven's been pointing out, we need to grab XL Engines every time we see them a salvage. Every time. They are really good. I am, Obviously, I made the bonehead mood of selling one early on. Because, uh, naturally, I didn't know what I was doing. I was going to do the absolute worst thing possible. What, what else is uh, a Commander Chimpy going to do? Hmm? What else would I do? Anyway, that is 16, 17 days. Perfect, because I think our navigation time is about 18 days. So... We'll have those three mechs up and running, looking splendid. Where are we going? Where are we going? Bendam, Horsham. My train to work goes to Horsham, I think. Yeah, that one that goes through London, all the way up from Hertfordshire. Interesting. I don't, don't really fancy, don't, don't want to go there now, I don't want to think about work. I'm not at work. Anyway, um, I was thinking of one of these, actually going straight into Arano space. And going into one of these, so 21 days. Well, they're all 21 days, not 18. That's fine, that's don't no problem at all. Something like this, ice well, geothermal boreholes, we've got a mining. There's a mining there. Mega city, I feel like we're going to get better stuff here. We've got electronics, so there could be some good tech, techy things here. A water world though, which means the trebuchet may not be the most optimal mech, but there are moons, so I think it's going to be a bit of a contrast of terrains to be honest that we could be operating from uh, yeah cold water world with chains of rocky islands sprawling archipelagos a word I can pronounce that looks difficult to say oh my gosh chimpy look at you <laughs> most of the population lives on a single island so there's gonna be a mega city there's gonna be everything really by the sounds of it 21 days we have enough money 135 actually do we 135 oh yeah yeah 700 yeah uh, before we go though, I'd like to introduce a new pilot. We said goodbye to Pistol off camera, just one of the starter pilots. And we bring, I think Deffy is the next pilot to join us. Um, it would have been either Ford or, is it Tristan? Uh, but there were no Davian pilots in Davian space for some reason. So Deffy has been plucked up first. So we've got, we've got Deffy Duck and we've got Goose. <laughs> we have to make them a one-two combo, I think, because... Uh, yeah, no, it's got to be the way. So there we go. Uh, right, anyway, navigation time. I think it's time to move on and have a little look. Have a little look at what we get. So, yeah, we are going down to Zangal. Zangal, I just want to make sure it is. Yeah. Do it. So, work is taking place. Job's done, Commander. What do you mean? Uh, I've got the financial well, all jobs are done. Are you sure about that? Are you really sure about that? How did they get through it? It said 12 days for the crab and stuff like that. Did I miss? Have I missed something here? Let me just make sure this is all correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, brilliant. You know what that means then? We can work on Mr. Hunchy Munchy. Sorry for getting annoyed with me saying that. <laughs> it's just too nice to say. Okay. Look at those internals. They're slap the big boy engine. Brum brum. Let's go with the 240. Cool. Cool blimey. Uh, let's also add in some ferrofibrous. And uh, that gives us an extra ton and a half for armor. And this is going to be Battleaxe's new mech. By the way, in case you're wondering who the pilot is, which means the Strider becomes available. The reason it's Battle Axe is he's always been the sort of uh, multi-target laser wielder, I suppose. That's just always been his his is a shtick. So yeah, that's that's nice. There's no point in making any of these really any different because they all have the engine parts. I actually would say, oh, I forgot about you. Ah, there we go. We'll go for. I might do this. Oh, that is as high as it can go. At about 130. There we go. Might as well balance it out. That's pretty nice. I'm liking the look of this. And I'm glad we've gone with the better core. That extra mobility is going to be really useful at just getting into the optimal position. Not to mention we can build up more evasion and evasion is life. Uh, we have enough money. We've, we've done our monthly 
dealing of salary. Oh, you guys needing a salary. 940 armor isn't too shabby. It's better than it was. I think it was 800 before, so that's quite a nice improvement. Okay. I don't know if that was a weird bug, but hey, that's that's fine. Those upgrades you asked for? Work on the Argo is complete. I don't think we can afford. But I want to do it anyway. We can afford something, actually. We can definitely afford something. Probably not these, though. This is what I'd want. Oh, we can. Well, we've got nothing else to pay. Right, I'll get the team on it right away. Let's go. Ooh, cutting it fine. Nine days. Cool, we're fine. We're all right. Don't worry about it, guys. Ah, crap. Oh, no, it's okay. Whew, just a news broadcast. Okay, Marion Hegemony. After an extended war in the mid 3050s, the Lafayne League was um, conquered by Marion Hegemony. However, it is not clear. Blah, 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 blah. I'll leave this here in case you want to read it. I'm going to quickly skim read it. Hmm. Marion's. We went against them once, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you pause it and read it, read it if you want to have a little look. I assume it looks like they're breaking down then. Yeah. Major changes in their power structure. So yeah, it's more sort of what, what happens in the... Uh, on the navigation screen, right? I'm glad we've actually been able to work Yang this time, <laughs> making changes to the mechs. Uh, I wonder why the crab got done instantly there. Maybe I misread it. Maybe it was only like a day, but everything just was Rumble's suddenly done. Out of cash. I know. Oh, there you go. The fire attacks the hegemony for control. Oh, wow. Sanctuary Alliance launches on Torians. Launches raids. Yeah. Look at them go. Ain't that something? There better be contracts down here in Arano space or else we're in trouble. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there is, but we've made it. We're coming in much stronger than we were before. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Thank you very much. Right, over to the mech bay quickly. I want to shuffle everything down. We've got three light mechs, we've got our trebuchet, we've got our hunchback. This is good. Yeah, this Owens is is sticking around for a long time. That armor situation is is nice. That's that's not so nice, is it? Hmm. 640 on the Strider, 984 on the 85 on the Crab, 985 on the Trebuchet, 940 on the Hunchback. Nice, yeah. I think that's pretty good actually. Okay, so we've made it. Must admit, this has all happened a lot quicker than I was expecting. I thought this would be the entire video. Uh, oh, okay. Doctor Murad gestures at a bright. Bright yellow growth on the corridor on the wall in front of you. Meet the Argo's very own mold problem. It started with the unfinished gamma pod, and despite my best efforts, it's spreading unchecked. She pokes it with a screwdriver, frowning. I've seen this before, boss. Yang takes the screwdriver out of Dr. Murat's hand and wipes it off. I know how to kill it, but whoever you pick for the job needs to be in a hazmat suit, considering how widespread the infestation is. They're going to be stewing in that suit for a long time. I was afraid of that. So, ask for volunteers, send in the mech techs. No. It's into the medical team. Why well, we don't... Oh, boy. Should we ask for volunteers? and see what happens. Orgy. Oh, Orgy and Succubus. Oh, no. Okay, the Argo has developed a more problem. Blah, blah, blah. After half an hour without a response, Darius again switches on the intercom. We have no volunteers, so I will now randomly draw names. Orgy, you're up and helping. Speed along will be Succubus, who's just back from injury. Oh, she can't catch a break. Like You'd redraw right. it, surely, after she's getting blown up left, right, and center in that um, in the battle armor. <laughs> the poor Augustus. <laughs> he just earned us like our keep. Oh my God! Look at that for the funds. That is too tight. Way too tight. We need to run a contract now. Okay, what do we got here? J twenty seven transport. That looks cool. It's just got small lasers. Just looks interesting. A light carrier. So this has a light mortar carrier. Designed to support allies from range. Can hang back. Do whatever. Mortars, 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 mortars. Then we've got a Savannah Master. So this is... The, the thing with this is its speed, you see. It can move 13... Oh my god, are you serious? 13 hexes and stuff. 
It's got like no armor. The idea is this thing, you, you just cannot get hit. Um, but it is relatively inexpensive and it could be a way to, I don't know, it's only got one medium laser. It's just a scout. It's just, just to get eyes on stuff. Really? That's about it. <laughs> laser AMS. Hello. Hmm. Does not require ammo, but generates more heat. It also weighs slightly more. So it does actually do the same thing, but it generates heat. I was going to say, if there's any reason, is it better quality? It, it is better quality. Yeah. Ah. Oh. That could be better. And it can generate heat. That's no problem. Especially for this. See, this is why I wanted to come here. We have electronics. And this is like classic sort of electronic warfare is something that's laser guided, right? I'd have thought something on those lines. Here I am talking out my ass. Anyway, um, medium X pulse. That just sounds like a marketing ploy. Multi shot. It gives you multi shot. Oh. Multi shot lasers fight a barrage of laser beams. Oh, maybe it's just like. Yeah, 10 times 3 generates 14 heat. That's not so bad. 30 damage for 14 heat. Have I got that wrong? It's 2 tons. You're trading off tonnage. Would something like this be good on the crab? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe that would be better than the pulse laser. It, unless Is that 14 heat in total or 14 per... It can't be per laser. That'd be nuts. That would be nuts. It's pretty inexpensive. Its range is slightly less than a regular medium laser. That's... There it is. I, there has to be something about it. Uh, pretty much all the standard stuff. Some chance to crit, actually. Is that more than a regular laser? I think it might be. Plasma rifles. These things are everywhere. Here I was thinking, like, oh, we'll never get this again. Yeah. There we are. We got it. <laughs> the thunder cannon. We seem to see these about as well. Until we see them until we don't see them, right? Uh, Com sweet, that's also pretty good, but we just have no money for anything. No money. Ammo. Yeah. Okay. Rocket. Is that a rocket launcher? Forty. Five times two hundred damage. I'm not gonna lie. It's so tempted to have one rocket build someday. I'm quite impressed by the laser AMS because of it's just in uh, it's better quality and. The fact that it doesn't have ammo means you're not going to be paying for the ammo. So it's kind of, I mean, it probably isn't a long term saving because the ammo is probably so cheap. But, but, uh, it's still, in it increases our, you know, our operating margin, right? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> but it requires half a mil. That's the thing I'm most impressed by, I think. Uh, there's one of those there. And the medium X pulse as well, because these seem relatively affordable. An attempt by the Federated Commonwealth for Technicians to increase the range of pulse lasers. Hmm. Like short pulse lasers, but an upgrade to pulse lasers that pushes extra energy through the system. Yeah. It's just a slight sacrifice on the max range, because it's normally 360. I think we can probably justify that, especially with the crab, where it's got... We've gone for the better mobility now. We can probably move closer, and we get a bit of extra damage done. 30 damage... 15 per ton. That's not bad. That isn't too bad, is it? Hmm. It's just what would we be taking off on the crab? The regular pulse for what? Three more damage? But we do generate less heat then. I think I like that. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at some contracts then. Alright, what have we got? Recovery mission in an urban environment against mercenaries. Love it. We've got recovery mission in the lowlands against... Is that planetary government against the planetary government? That's some in-house drama. Okay. <laughs> Ambush a convoy. Oh, baby. You know I like these missions. Escort against the Torians. I might even do that as well. And the Torians there. Uh, what was it? Escort. No battle. And another escort. Oh, it's against the pirates, though. Sorry, I don't annoy the pirates. Although they might have some really good stuff. Uh, do we just do one of these little... What time is it now, anyway? When did I start this? You know what? It's not been very long, has it? Give me one moment, please. Okay, so here is the lineup going into this uh, two skull recovery against some mercenaries. We've got Headhunter back in his crab, Goose in the trebuchet, because Augie's unavailable, as is Succubus for now. Um, we have got Battleaxe in the hunchback. That is going to be his new mech. Multi-target bulwark. I think that's pretty good. And Sonia's back in the Jenna. Welcome back. 
And we've got Big Red in the Owens, that's going to be his new mech. And we've got Deffy with his debut mission in the Strider. And Stencil is in the Chaparral, uh, as usual. We're not going to be taking any battle armor this time. But maybe next time. Something I want to experiment with. Command interface initiated. Alright, the game is gradually booting up. There we go. Welcome to the battlefield, everyone. This is an in and out mission. Hoi hoi. Let's do it. Let's go. For some reason. Oh, I didn't even look at your name. What's up, uh, for some reason, I didn't go all salvage. I'm an idiot. It's a recovery mission. Ah, I'm so annoyed at myself. Anyway, we're pretty far away, uh, which I'm fine with. It means I can approach Let's go. my own schedule. The gen is pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything. Do, do any of you? I guess maybe we'll um. We'll move up here. On my way, double time. Any sign of anything? No. Nope. So these are the two avenues that we can really go down. They are moving. You gonna sensor lock me or something? No, nope. good. Man. Yeah, best not do that. I think I like this way better. Okay, so it's the first real turn now. They are moving up. And it looks like we're gonna go back to a sort of good old traditional. Get it yeah. Got something you want done? There's lots that needs to be done, my friend. Let's do this. Let's kick their asses. Come on. Got it. Waiting I don't know if they were thinking about it there for a moment, but I guess we're taking it to turn one. By. So what's definitely not going to be able to attack? The crab probably is one of those. As you see here, we're comfortably getting to five evasion. We had six earlier, so yeah, generally speaking. It's all looking really good. That's an Owens as well. What Owens colliding. Oh, we could totally do that. I'd rather have a sensor lock on it though. So Ready for I think maybe we hold off on that one. I think we'll do this. On it. Yeah, move, move the sort of ones that need to be in a little bit closer. They play a similar role, these two, which is fine. They were a pretty good one-two combo back in the day. The Jenna cannot see anything. That says it's a mech. I could have sworn I heard a vehicle move, but okay. I think I will do this. We're going to rely on evasion here. Oh, they've got their own hunchback with an LBX. Oh, that's going to, that's going to hit. Hmm. That is probably going to hit. Four evasion. Waiting on you, Commander. All right. I think we're at the point now where we probably maybe we do something like this. We could also go turret airdrop, especially if we hide behind a building. Depends what we can get eyes on and what can get eyes on us. On the move. But for now, we're going to go sensor lock. Anybody miss a good uh, city battle? I've got a sensor lock. They're what making their I way in. This does generate quite a bit of heat, but so do we. Well, they will be generating heat as well. Oh, this is no good at all, is it? We're going to do a light addition, so we're going to take one off and we're going to preserve some ammo as well and just sort of see if we can scrape it a little bit. We did get a hit there. I mean, we're not going to overheat that thing, are we? But it's just damage. Ready for orders. Yeah, I really should have just fired the one plasma thing, I think. <laughs> Alright, never mind. That's fine. Uh, oh, don't like that. Rather go for more evasion. All right. Live to serve. And finally, Chaparral. 31%, 31%. We should go with you because you have less armor. We can get rid of you. You still have a couple of lasers and stuff. How'd that do? A little bit. 
A little bit. Mech the arrow is terrific, isn't it? Right, we are going to hold and let them see if they want to move first. See if their light mechs do anything stupid. Go on, do something dumb, I dare you. Interesting, that's fine. Yo, look, well, you're not, you're not contributing with your two lasers, so... I actually call that a, a mild win. Now, that mech's... Has he gone... Ooh. Is that a spider? I think it might have been a spider. There is a vehicle there. He can't go anywhere, though. I think you'll be safe to use a turret, possibly around here. Ready for orders. Who's next, anyway? That vehicle is next. Alright. I actually say we do this. Can we can we place turrets on um buildings? We can! That's dangerous though. <laughs> uh I if we do that, we want to right. wait. Where did that mech go? It was over here. Oh it jet is that the one that jetpacked over here that was like a spider or something? I think it might have been. I don't like that. Alright, yeah. Now I know what we're going to do. We are going to wait one more turn. Okay. Orders. I still think going for maximum evasion is possibly a good way to go. Ooh, we can't see anybody though. Wait again. Holding for the right opportunity. I do think they're going to do something. I think you're going to go for the Jenna, personally. Unless you can see something else. That was a good move. Because if you miss the crab, you hit the hunchback. Or rather, I think he was going for the hunchback, but it mostly hit the crab. Three evasion. Okay, maybe it wasn't that good of a move. Okay, this is where we come in and be a little bit crafty. Yeah, just a little bit crafty. Is there anything back here? Potentially. So we're going to sort of... Still keep that evasion high. We're going to go ping. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah. So they've all moved, remember? But really, it's just the hunchback now, I think. It's put itself in a position that is... You know... Not the most optimal. Do you have jump jets? You probably do. I bet you do. What happens if we sprint and get closer? Much better. Much better. What about if we move the Jenna first then? We can get pretty close. I don't think we want to go too close so that we don't risk hitting ourselves. No shooting. And we want to come in from the right hand side as well. We are going to go shielded stance just in case something goes wrong here. This is a nice start. Oh yeah. What are you, an APC? A Hetzer laser. What's your deal? Four medium lasers. Okay, that, that'll be frustrating. That'll be frustrating to deal with. So let's go ahead and... On the move. Sprint. See, we wouldn't be able to get round here if we did not have that core that we've put in. So, I'm already liking it. That's a bit dodgy. Uh, given the severity of the target, we are in fact going to go Battle Lord straight away. Generate a lot of heat, but let's go big. Taking the shot. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that was something. <laughs> I hear I'm glad they've got no LRMs about. Jump up here. That's a, again a bit, a bit bonkers. But I think we we've kind of committed to going through the buildings here. Can't see anything. We can from here though. I think I am going to do this. Just the evasion is so high. I mean go. the the evasion, not the evasion. The um the targeting so high. No point going phantom yet. We'll go everything here, though. That was nice. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Yeah, I guess. 
And that means a hunchback of our own. Oh yes, you can't quite make it rounds. We want to get rid of that building so we can see through it. That might be an option, actually. Let's do... Yeah, let's do this. Go for a standard move, just to keep the aim somewhat high. We've got damage reduction from the trees. And take a look at this. We're able to launch all of these, so we might as well. Ooh. That's just the right arm. Still has that AC-20 LBX. Alright, the Owens is going to drop the turret. And it is in fact going to drop it on the building here. I'm oh, wrong button. Excuse me, excuse me. Terra airdrop. I am pressing... I'm pressing the wrong button. Hang on. Shift. Yeah. I always press the tab, not shift. That's it. Shredder turret. You doing this right? Yeah. Alright. Confirm. 94%. What does that mean? Why, why are you no 100%? Commander? I don't know. Don't think about it too much. We can't actually come in too close here. We're going to have to possibly aim for one of these two. One of yous. We might just scrape this. Then again, next turn, we'll be able to finish you off with the Jenna next turn or the Strider. So actually, it might be worth just playing it safe and going for one of these. Let's go for the spider here. Might get a little bit of residual damage. Oh, okay. That was all on the building, by the way, so. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Ooh. Allied heavy turn. Fire. Ooh! That hurt. AC 20 hit. That turret is in a sweet spot right now. No okay, the Jenna. You say you took heavy hits, but I don't think it was too bad. You're over there. Got to, got to keep an eye out on that one. There's a crafty one. We can get, yeah. Let's build up some evasion. Come back here. Continue firing. If two of these managed to hit on that right torso, oh, just one. I'm settled. It's still going. Hmm. Got a lock on me. Using that a bit early, no? How's it going? Possibly. Can't quite get you around here. Also, this puts you in a little bit, kind of a line of fire. We'll hold off on that. Yeah. Going to reserve a moment. All right, the spider is. Okay, you're you're just pissing him off. That's that's not the smartest move. He gets punchy when he gets angry. All right, the Owens and the Strider. Yes, I, this would be perfect, but we need to we need to stick to the uh, the plan here. I think that's the way to go. Precise strike. I want this thing done. Yeah, we, we this should this should do it. Right. Right, also gone. Looks like you had an XL engine then. Neck destroyed. Four salvageable parts. Maybe we're just going to be an army of hunchbacks. <laughs> this rate, the amount that we're seeing. Ooh, there's a rifleman. UAC. Jeez, guys, that is. I'd love one of those. I don't want to face one though. Right, prioritizing you then. We need to sensor lock you. I'm going to sense lock you like every turn. Everything up here is somewhat secondary. What are you though? The hell's that? Excavator mech. Thumper artillery. Thumper artillery. That's uh, not so great. That said, I want to ride around town like so. Maybe this wasn't the best thing. But we are sensor locking you just to lower your aim. Alright. Okay. That's very important. You sensor locked the spider because you couldn't see anything. That was the turret, by the way, our allied turret. Let's 
fine. Right, the crab. The crab actually could come in here. Is that a charge, though? I don't want to charge. That's... That's too much. It's too much. Oh, no. Excuse me. Can you get in here behind? You can. These are good shots, too. But we may have to do... I just want to maintain respectable evasion. Shots ain't amazing. The medium pulse and the extended range small laser is, though. It's so worth it for the extra evasion point. Plus, we will cool down a little. No, we won't cool down. We will... Okay. That's probably the best value we're going to get. Yeah. Okay, a little bit done there. That's okay, because the, the hunchback can come in and just decimate him. What can I do for you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coming with the kick. Let's see what you can do here. Roger. If only we could see the action. It's going to be glorious. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's on now. Right. There goes that annoying spider. Oh, we got more of them. Hello. Waiting on you, Commander. All right. Uh, not don't want to sprint. We want to j j j jump, jump, jump. Can you see the vehicle anywhere? Where can you see the vehicle from? That's kind of my priority here. Because you could just... Oh, you can't hit that thing. Six evasion. All right, we are going to jump, though. I leap, I soar. That does not help us enough. I was going to say, this thing could be very hastily dealt with due to the heat sinking sort of abilities that we potentially have here. Owens is running a bit hot. I think instead then we'll keep somewhat heat neutral. Special delivery. Both of those missed. Well done. Orders. <laughs> uh, wanna get you. But I am indeed gonna go for the Owens here. Okay. Somewhere in the middle, you see. Alright, here comes that rifleman. Look out! It's going for our mimic beacon. Handled it like a pro. Ooh. Still. Let's hit him. We've got our mark. He's got one evasion. We can get in here, and I think we just need to prioritize that. We should still have shielded stats, I think. So let's do it. All right, nice. I'll be worried about that vehicle coming behind us and shooting some lasers, but whatever. We will go stamp it if we need to. No! It's okay, the AMS from our own Owens managed to save its life. There is nothing left on this thing. Yeah, probably did. That probably did the trick. Okay, one evasion is not bad at all. Let's reserve here. This Hetz is gonna. I, I might be giving it a little bit too much leeway here. I think it needs. Um, it does need squishing. Right, I'm assuming you have a, an ace pilot in there of some sorts, and you're gonna move after the matter? No, you chose to stand still. That kind of changes things a little bit, you see. Right, we could come in here with a tag. And I think that is indeed what we do. Red's moving on up. We can get that tag. Yes, right. There's our mark, the strider. That's not too shabby. Center torso's already looking a bit cracked. Let's reserve, let our ally turret go first. Ooh! Nice work. Right, the Owens will be quite a, a fairly quick finish. I think aye, we need aye. to get the crab in here. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm loving the mobility. It just has that little bit that I expected from it now. A little bit more. And now this is where we were saving our lasers. Oh, oh yeah. Enjoy the show. Right, Trebuchet, you are... I really want you to take out that vehicle. So we're going to try and avoid... Right, we're going to come over here. Yeah, this is fine. We are just to be on the safe side, going to pop visions due to the lack of evasion. And fire everything. Hmm. That, the armor is melting off that thing. We should be able to see it. Now this is where we get the strider in because there should be. Yeah, we have, we have you exposed. Okay, Defi. Another heat sink destroyed. These are double heat sinks. We might be able to get some heat sink kits out of this. I'm so annoyed I didn't go full salvage. Why? It was a mistake. It was a mistake, I swear. Uh, oh, we can't do anything about you either. We can't do that because we'll just injure ourselves. I would love to go on the Owens here, but I think it's too close. That said, we could topple it over. Does that really affect us? No. So instead, we're going to just go for a soften up shot here. We are going to have to do something like this. These shots are going overhead. You're lucky, Hetzer. You're very lucky. We're doing this. Firing everything I've got. Right, lovely. So you're overheating. Which means even when you do go, you might be less inclined to use everything. Well, didn't really matter, did it? <laughs> I mean, that turret is just a mimic beacon. And he's gone. Ammo explosion, thanks to the gel. Also, we had everything exposed and damaged. I think that was kind of the thing that made a big difference, to be honest. Good work, everybody. Right, you've got that thumper cannon. I don't want you tempted to use it now because we're all, we're all here, grouped together. Perfect thumper cannon sort of scenario, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's not have that. Uh, mm, I think we'll do this, and I also think we're gonna we're gonna go shielded stance again. That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, actually. You could get shot at by whatever those things are. But you should be too low. I don't know, let's... Coming in for kick anyway. Roger that. Right, let's take a look. Yeah, a lot of armor's been taken off here. I think if the crab can make it with a kick, then we're good. Really? Interesting. Oh, he shut down. A sitting duck, you might say. Okay. Um, I guess I'll reserve. It's not really letting me do anything here. Don't know what that was about. Okay, what are they going to do? If anything. Looks like they're a bunch of mediums. You are not interested in moving, are you? Not Better. in the slightest. I think I'd rather sprint with the hunchback and get it sort of in here for a shot, so let's hold off. Commander? The strider, I think, can make it for a, a standard kick. No, it can't. No, you can't. Why, why can't you? Why don't you want to do that? Which means the crab probably can't either. Bye. Hmm. Oh, we kind of want to take out the Owens. Yeah, the Owens and the Hetzer are what we're going to be going for here. So, can you?
can you get into a spot where you can only see the Hetzer? And you'll be seeing it from the front, which I don't particularly like. I want you being able to see it from the side. Yeah. Here we go. Just a standard move. Take it out. Nice. Target neutralized. Got some parts. Don't really care. Waiting for orders. All right. What else have we got? The Strider. Can get over here. Nice five evasion. Let's see if we can very quickly uh, take care of you. I kind of just want to gut punch you. Mm. Still not. You're only now stressed. I was overheated and my mech was shut down. I would be pretty bloody stressed whilst I'm in mid battle. But hey, I guess we all have different priorities in life, right? Uh, let's not get too close with a lighter mech. Yeah, I think that's about right. It's a little bit far away. You want fair? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if that's far enough away. We're just tag, tag, tagging you, aren't we? Oh, engine crits. Large leg destroyed. Large leg? Left leg. <laughs> That's something else. All right. Hmm. And now we trade blows. Still not using the thumper cannon. We are really lucky. E calling crit. Did he hit his own mech? <laughs> you clown. Receiving you. Absolute idiot. Uh, I think you've got an opportunity here, Headhunter. Um, oh, that right torso. Okay, we're gonna go Vigilance just because I did not pick up on that. That was quite bad of me. Hmm, a little frustration shot here, just obliterate it. Okay. Alright, they got these two round here. Just have to hope they don't go for the crab. Fortunate. Fortunately, they might not. They're going for the strider. That was. Those were heavy hits. That was like a large pulse, I think. We, we got hit up pretty bad. Alright, what is it? A Wolverine. Is that the first one of the campaign? I think it might be, actually. Uh, I think I'd rather have the height advantage again. It's been serving us kind of well. Yes, Commander. I've got you two. All right, we're going to go. Commander. Intensify firepower. Start doing some damage here. Failed collateral damage. Oh, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't realize that was a thing. We could be in a little bit of trouble here. What can I do for you? To be honest, we could be. We are going to jump up here, though. Take off a plasma rifle and see what we can do. Got it. Pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. Alright, something we can do then is possibly come in and Ooh, that's that's a that's a terrific little Yeah. I like this. Precise strike to make sure we hit you and not somebody else. Ah Running too hot these days, are we? Ah, you're in you're in heat. You're in the heat there. Target lost, enemy. I'm hoping that makes you feel like you're you need to panic. Waiting for orders. Uh, I kind of wish I should have set you up for a turret. To be honest with you. Let's do this. We can tag you as well then. Okay, you're tagged. Right, your right torso is not looking so good, so we need to get you around like 
Hmm. There's no good way to do this. Yeah, that's it. Ah, so almost it. That's it. Yep, that's the one. Around to go. Can't be that. We could go Battle Lord, but I think we'll just overheat if we do that. Hey, oh, it's because we're near some. Uh, oh wow, yeah. Oh god. Go vigilance again, so we go early next turn. We're getting there. This, this, this stuff here. That's uh, yeah. Your right side's been uh, has also been targeted quite badly. That's a little bit close to the crab, but we're gonna do it anyway. Move. Oh, 17 heat. No wonder we're. But this should be fine, right? Yeah. Here we go. Engine. That's enough, isn't it? There's ammo, but there is case. And you just have the artillery in that side. Let's do it. Wow. Lucky bugger. You're a lucky bugger, you are. 50 tonner. Uh oh. Watch out. AMS. Spray and pray. Not, we're not hitting any of it though. I hear you. Okay, Goose. Do we, do we just keep you here? And take the shot and use vigilance so you go early next turn, or we use precise strike so that we definitely hit these. That might be the way. Or, or do we jump? There's just nowhere else to go at this point. Wolverine still cool. That's an enforcer. I didn't even look at what you were. Oh crap. We can't frickin' just let that thing shoot us. No. I think we're gonna have to anyway. We're gonna stand here, we're just gonna try and overheat you. Commencing alpha strike. Watch out. Don't hit anybody behind. No, we're good, we're good. He's got an XL engine, he shouldn't be able to do much. Alright. Priority's getting the strider out of there. That got past my armor. The hunchback. Hunchy. Can you go for one of these? That's probably better. That was the better. S yeah, that's the one. All right, you forgot about battle axe, guys. Here he is. He's got full armor, precise stroke. Let's just start getting rid of uh, some armor on the Wolverine. Yikes! All right, this is where we are, in fact, going to do attack ground, like over here. Uh, there really is not a good way to do this. Yeah, we are going to do this. Okay, not quite close enough. Went off to the right a little bit. I was hoping just to get a little bit of that. Right, the excavator can't do anything. Surely not. It's just burning. Eh? Do you mind? Shut down. Take it out. This is it, guys. Let's get this done. The Jenna. Jenna's looking okay, actually. Could probably come in, start looking at shots. Rear ending. Problem is here, where mm, your shoulder stance runs out. I don't trust any of that. The Owens. These are all pretty good. We do want to try and work on you as well. Let's give ourselves more choice. So the crab's about. Remember, the right side of the crab is a big no no. So if we can do something like this. I think that should be fine. It's the most we can do it here. Moving out. 
Yep. Shut down. Whichever side has less. Take it out. That was very nice. Okay. From this point, the trebuchet. Yes, we need the trebuchet's input here. I think we'll maybe pop Phantom. Grab an extra little bit of evasion. Oh crap. Oh no, no, I should have waited. I should have sensor locked. Alright. Still, we'll have a go. Whatever's higher. This one. This is a chance to cool down, I suppose. Time to die. Would be. Unsettled, I guess that's something. Right, we are going to have to. Yeah, we can come. Oh, wow, this. Not making this too easy for myself, am I? We're going to overheat if we do anything, to be honest. Hey there. The, the streak can come in. Here you go. Got the streaker. I think this is okay, actually. On my way. Burning terrain, but we have the streak and we might actually get some crits here. I think this is worth a precise strike just to ensure, well, increase the likelihood. Alright, we'll be a jump jet. If I had done that first, plasma rifles might have done even more. There is no good way to do this. So we're just gonna come over here. It's pretty much a stand and shoot affair. And we will cool off. We're gonna take a laser offline here. Right, the strider, it's left arm. What's in the left arm? Yeah. So I need to make sure it's right facing. We'll just go for a move. We'll do this. We'll go for the second target, I guess. Actually, we should have gone for the first one because we're going for the left side, aren't we? Ah! Why am I not not on form right now? Now's not the time to be collapsing. Standing by. Okay, the hunchback. I think this is where the hunchback has to come in and just, just own the battlefield right now. So have you gone yet? You've not gone yet, have you? Doesn't look like you have. Yeah, it's the Wolverine. Yeah, we need to take out the Wolverine. Yes, Commander. So I'm actually thinking we go for like a kick. Or better yet. Do we just come in from that left side? Coordinates received. Alright. It's gone. Okay. Hostile. Woo! We blew a lot up there. Alright, that's really good. We pretty much got this one then. Copy that. Alright, this should be the finishing blow. Should be. <laughs> Wonderful. Good stuff. Alright, we're done here. Let's go to the uh, the recovery zone. Double time. Let's go. Okay, we are done. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at what loot we are going to get. Such a shame. Didn't go for four. Don't know what possessed me to do that. The money wasn't even very good. Not at all. Whereas there's probably going to be some half-decent little bits and bobs. Okay, at least we get a bit of money so we don't go bankrupt. Maybe that's why I did it. <laughs> I thought, Ooh, what if we use a lot of ammo? So I suppose it may have saved us from actually going bankrupt. Uh, anyway. 
We have a lot of different things here. 50 tonners, 60 tonner riflemen. I'm probably going to be taking all of those, or three out of the four. Weapon-wise, uh, there's another slave. If it was a master, sure. Uh, oh, UAC-5, I wouldn't mind that. Mm. 40 damage. That's per shot, right? Is that how it works? I don't know. I think I'm going to let fate decide, but I would quite like parts of a rifleman. What is this stock build anyway? It's a bit all over the place, no? Lasers and yeah. That was a good that was a good build though for it, so. Okay, did we get all four parts? No, we Yeah we did! Yes! We only need one part of a rifleman and we're good. And enforcer three. Didn't actually clock that. Hmm. Really low core ammo for the gauss. Hey, that's uh, nice. So we're, we're all ammoed up for a Gauss if we want it. Maybe that's what we do with a Rifleman. We just go, huh, Gauss build, boof. You know, the turret annihilator. Could be, could be. Since that, that version of the Rifleman only has, I think, two... Yeah, has two slots, doesn't it? Maybe that's too heavy for it, though. It might be. All right, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, everybody, because that's gone on much longer than I was expecting. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you like the new look builds. We're going to have a lot of fun of these as we progress towards the campaign. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.